Hi, I'm Kristen Philippines and welcome to my channel. Konnichiwa! Watashi no channel ni yokoso. Watashi wa Filipino Christmas. So for today's reaction video, I am reacting to a movie called Black Rain, which is suggested by you guys. Thank you so much. So this is just a short clip about making of the movie featuring Mr. Yusaku Matsuda. Dewa sasuku hajime mashou. The place was not uh, like I thought it would be. Uh, it was far more modernized and uh, clean and uh, planned and ordered. And I expected something a little more, uh, a little more patinaed and a little more of the old. You know, when I say the old, I don't mean a thousand years ago. I mean 1920s, 19, you know what I mean? Turn of the century. After, uh, after Wall Street, I was looking to play a more physical action oriented part and uh, my agents uh, sent me this script and uh, the character I liked and I also liked the fact that it, uh, it dealt with uh, another subject matter uh, and an opportunity for us to explore our two cultures both our differences what we agree about and what we don't agree about and at the same time uh, hopefully make a, a two-hour entertaining movie. And those were the qualities that attracted me to it um, initially. Um, Jaffe and Lansing I'd worked with on, on uh, Fatal Attraction and are much more than just commissioned producers. Stanley Jaffe has won an Oscar for Kramer vs. Kramer and, and they're both excellent producers and allowed me more freedom to focus on uh, on the on the acting. ものすごくやっぱなんかね入ってると思った。自分のやっぱり大事な本当に大事な役をやらせてもらってるというのはもちろんあったね。やり方の違いをもし聞いてるんだとしたらね。例えば大阪でもあんな風にどうぞと全部
I'm going to put Brother Ray in a can. Impressive with, with Ken Takakura is the fact that he had to speak in English. And he's really had to learn the English almost extent for this part. And that somebody who had sort of such an image that he's had is willing to step out and has the courage to try a different type of part and to really be, take part in an international uh, uh, production. Ken Takakura is Assistant Inspector Masamoto, assigned to help Douglas and his partner, Charlie Vincent, played by Andy Garcia. These two people are, are at a loss in this country where obviously the language barrier is your first obstacle. Director Ridley Scott on the set with Kate Capshaw, who plays Joyce, an American working in a Japanese hostess bar. Until you go to Japan, you really can't imagine that it is the most foreign environment you could possibly place yourself in. No sign is legible. There's no English subtitle to street signs. There are no street signs. I mean, it's you'd be lost. I wanted the Japanese to be not the way we expect them to be. And uh, I wanted the Sato character to be a very, uh, obviously be a very dangerous character, but at the same time to be intelligent, to have a real point of view, and be, basically be trying to change the system. It was very obvious that, that this was a, a young leading man who had, who had a certain sexuality and, uh, and a certain um, uh, uh, charisma. I was quite overwhelmed because I felt that he had so much to offer as an artist. He had a tremendous inner, inner strength. Um, he had a strong core. He, he acted as if he had a secret. Mysterious character. And that was what was wonderful because you couldn't ever tell what he was thinking. You know, he just had a way of being there and, and being inscrutable, as it were. And, uh, and that was very important. Here. I remember thinking that, you know, Matsuda-san was more than we ever imagined. And you could see just his, his extraordinarily breadth of acting, the, 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 the dynamic range. Take it from him, huh? Right. <laughs> There was that wonderful feeling of being in the presence of an excellent actor, uh, an actor who always surprised you. Uh, you never knew what he was going to do next, which I think was one of uh, Matsuda-san's wonderful qualities, is you never knew what was going to happen. I've been fortunate to work with some very dynamic actors, and I found him to be as good as or, or better than most actors I've ever worked with. After the film came out, I got a lot of calls about him, not just for parts that um, required a Japanese actor, but for parts that required... And Matsuda, I figured that was it. It was the only one. They said, do you want to read? No, I think he's it, he's it, he's it. And Matsuda was uh, charming. I met him in Tokyo, charming, elegant great sense of humor, even though he didn't know what the hell I was talking about. I had to have an interpreter there who we listen to the interpreter and then in three seconds get it what I'm getting to. But his real talent was in comedy. Mm -hmm. So he's coming from comedy and I think very successful television comedy. And uh, my only concern was could he be dark? Yusaka Matsuda was a matinee idol in Japan. Very good looking guy, extremely Imagine tall uh, for Japanese. He was about six foot two, Whoa. spoke no English, and gambled to play this vicious villain. And I have the greatest memories for him. He was one of the nicest people in the whole world. I mean, you would sort of be sitting on the set talking to him, and he was so sweet and warm, and then this like evil would come out. <laughs> 
had a look about him that was well before Keanu Reeves adopted it for The Matrix. It was just a modern approach to a traditional man. So there's more of an extravagance and it's used for intimidation and which is very different than the everyday salary men and everyday people that live in Japan. The interesting thing was, again, my Celtic side was pulling, saying, drop him on the stake. But if you drop him on the stake, then in a funny kind of way, you've got a dead end. You've just killed him. It's finished. But I was worried that Matsuda was such an attractive villain that he actually better have his come up as in the long form, which would better be imprisonment. And so uh, the, what I thought instead, let's have them both think about it. But on the take where I was going to kill him, I grabbed him, I looked at the stake, and I looked at him, and he smiled at me. He had this beautific smile. And I always regret taking it out with that kind of smile because I thought that's the moment he was actually willing to die. In other words, it's a fair fight. You, ha you have the absolute control over me, it is your choice to kill me right now, and that's fine. So in that look, that's what it was. And to make a long story short, uh, Yusaka Matsuda died after the movie was over. He'd had stomach cancer, the entire picture. He never said a, a word about it. And I'm always haunted by the last time I you know, really saw him on that scene when he was smiling and he obviously knew that he was, he was dying. Get you have no part in this. I am the solution to your problems. Well, it's not over yet. Here I am, Nick! You can get him, boss. You and me. Michael Douglas. Black Rain. It was a 1989 movie. It was Mr. Matsuda's last movie. He's a great actor and everyone in the set, all his co-actors were in all praise of him. He's such a great actor. He's even called a matinee idol because of his good looks, good physique, tall and handsome he will always be remembered well anyway thank you so much guys for watching with me i'll see you in my next video